Hi guys, so I want to do a um, one brand review for you. Um, um, this is one of the brands that I truly enjoy and I really do like it. And it is a drugstore brand and it is a lot more affordable. The only problem that I don't like about this brand is that it is hard to find for me personally. I don't know about other stores. Um, so let's just jump into it. So first I have the, um, oh, I should probably tell you what brand it is. It's Hard Candy. It's available at Walmart. I think that they do ship online from, like, their website. I'm sure tar Walmart probably ships too, but yeah. So I'm going to try to tell you the prices for everything, so it might take a second because I had my phone out. But, um, yeah. So, this. <laughs> so I'm going to start with this one because it's the first thing that you put on your face. I'm going to try to go in order for your face because I'm cool like that. Anyways. <laughs> Um, so this is the um, Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer. Uh, it's a long wear primer and it's 12 hour power. So this is what it looks like. And then it's like an orangey, don't mind me, it's kind of gross looking. So it's this orangey looking consistency and it's pretty thick. But it's definitely different than most of the primers that I have ever really used. Um, because it doesn't have that silicone-y base, but yet at the same time I feel like it makes my foundation last for a really long time, which is awesome. And when you use this with the rest of the, um, products that I'm going to show you, it really just, like, amplifies everything. Primer is only eight bucks, so it's really not that expensive, especially for what you get, which is awesome. And so I'm... I love this primer. Like, I honestly, I, I'm probably going to rebuy this over buying my Smashbox primer, and I love my Smashbox primer. And it's totally different. So, I mean, I might buy both just because I like them both. But, yeah, and it's not like any of the powdery primers that, like, ball up. It's just, like, completely different consistency than I've ever used. Um, yeah, just says, acts like a magnet that attracts makeup for all day flawless wear. Oh, another awesome, cool thing about this brand is that it's, um, they don't test on animals. So that's awesome. I like products that do that. Okay, moving on. So moving on to, not that one, this one. So this is the, don't mind that I don't have a cap on it. It's over there somewhere. Um, so the next is the Glamouflage Hard Candy um, Heavy Duty Concealer. And so this is ETH. I love this stuff. So I have not tried the Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer, but this stuff is supposed to be really similar and I don't have any tattoos to cover up for you. So maybe I'll do like a temporary tattoo type thing video for you. But I'll show you the consistency. So it's pretty thick. Um, and the coverage is just amazing. So it comes with a, oh, I forget I don't have a cap. <laughs> so it comes with a um, little pencil. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to line it with, like, line your tattoo with a pencil, and then you put the primer on top of it, and then you do a few, like, coats and everything. Oh, hiccups. So you do a few coats and everything like that. But honestly, this primer is so thick but it has really good so it has really good coverage it's thick but it's not too thick where it creases and it comes off during the day and it's just gross it's so amazing and I have acne problems and it just hides everything and it works great and I love this stuff like I'm I'm buying and every time I buy a, a concealer I get a lighter color because I know I can use it as a highlight if it doesn't work for concealer I am going back and buying a lighter color in this because it is so awesome so the Glamour Flodge Concealer is only 6 bucks with the pencil that comes with it. So that's awesome. It's a really good price, and again, you don't need a lot, and so this bottle will last you for a good amount of time. So the next one is the Glamour Flodge, don't mind that it's like empty, the Glamour Flodge um, Foundation. And so it's supposed to, meant to work with, supposed to work with the concealer. And again, it's an invisible camouflage foundation, and it's supposed to be... It's a transforming liquid powder foundation that absorbs oil, camouflages imperfections, and delivers a long-lasting velvet finish. The skin-perfecting fluid contains super-fine pigment, 
for flawless full coverage without looking caked on. Infused with Kalon clay for expect for expectational wear and oil absorption. Skin retains natural moisture for 12 hours of flawless um, perfection and transfer resistant. Pairs perfectly with Glamouflage concealer or extra covering power. Oh, for extra covering power. So, it's real ratchet. But, yeah. Oh, that's a lot. So it's a thicker coverage foundation, but if you can tell, it does move still. And um, I put a lot on my finger. Oh no. So it's really good coverage. And honestly, um, so the only thing that I don't love about this foundation is that it says it's not, that it helps conceal, like not conceal, it helps with oil and it's like a powder, it's a foundation to powder, but it doesn't give me enough of that powdery finish that I don't have any oil going on because I'm super, super oily, like it just happens, especially in Arizona in the summertime, it's oil all up in the place. So it's the only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't completely do that. But again, after I work my a shift or a double at my store, I work in a restaurant, I'll come back home and it's still on my face. So it doesn't come off. It's just a little bit greasy. So I mean, sometimes I just need a little blot here and there. Um, I do wish that there was a powder that came with it or a powder that you can work with it for their line, but they don't. And again, it's a new product. So I'm assuming that that's why. But it's pretty um, comparable to the Kat Von D one. And again, with the Kat Von D one, I still need a powder too because my face is super oily. I honestly really like it. And then I think that the Kat Von D one is comparable to like the MAC. What is it? It's like one of their Pro Long Wear foundations or whatever. I think it's pretty comparable to that as well. And so, I mean, for a drugstore version, that's awesome. I, I ha again, acne covers it right up. And um, in my... I, well, I wear this in almost all my videos, so, I mean, it's not that bad. Yeah. A Hard Candy um, Glamouflage Foundation is $7 for 2.1 ounce. So next is one of my favorite products, and is actually what started me on this brand, is the Hard Candy, and it is um, the So Baked Bronzer. So, this is it. And, again, this is a bronzer is not a bronzer. That is super light. I mean, even if a girl with super fair skin, you, oh no, if a girl with super fair skin use this as a bronzer, it would not work as a bronzer. It's, anyways, moving on. Um, this is in the color Tiki. So it's 129 Tiki. And the reason that I even found out about this was from Jaclyn Hill, watching one of her videos, and she, like, swears by this product, and especially for a drugstore, yeah. I love it. So the <laughs> so this looks really it's not good to watch right there. Um anyways, so the pigmentation is just awesome. Why does it look so bad? <laughs> there you go. So it just gives a really good natural glow and it's really pretty for a good majority of skin types. Um and I, I, I love it. Um, is there anything you need to say about with this? I don't really know. But I mean, I've used, this is my second one already, and I have just, all the time, everything. And it's light enough that when I put it over my powder, like my, my powder, when I put it over my blush, that still looks really pretty. So, it's big. It's like holy grail item, honestly. But it's really hard because they're always sold out at my store and every time I go I want to buy extra and I am definitely one of those people who may or may not have hidden one of them behind another highlighter or bronzer. May or may not have been that person. So their So Big um, bronzers are $9 so it is a little bit more pricey compared to some of the other stuff for a bronzer but still totally worth the money. I love this stuff and I'd rather use this compared to any of my other highlighters and so for the price, can't really beat it.
So this was a limited edition item and it is in a super duper cute tin and it is a highlighter duo in the color Lit Up. So it's 362 Lit Up and it was a limited edition for one of their for like their anniversary again don't remember what anniversary it was but yeah so if you look at it the this side is obviously a really good highlighter and this side looks like it can almost be a bronzer i feel like this is the darkest bronzer that i might have seen from them but it's still pretty pink um so i just swirl it together and it get a really pretty again these swatches on my fingers just aren't doing it justice so it's just a really pretty simple pearly glow. I hope you can see it. You might not. But again, it was limited edition. So if you see it at your store still, so make sure you snag it. Super cute. Tin's adorable. And then you can actually take it out of the tin when you're done with it. So that's awesome too. Don't remember the price again because it was limited edition. So I can't look it up online. So these are things that I don't think that they sell anymore, which makes me really sad. So they're called Pop and Pigments. And they do sell... Um, like glitter which I am going to buy and try soon um but this is what got me started into pigment eyeshadow and I absolutely love these they came in a duo and it would be um two in one the only thing that I didn't like about the duo was the fact that so it'd have two colors like this and so it would be like let's see like this this they're not the same package but this one would be called like golden pancake and that's what the duo was called and you wouldn't know what color either one of them were it was just golden pancake but again these colors were always so gorgeous and so pigmented and i absolutely truly love them and i just don't think that they sell them anymore which makes me really sad because i love them and they would come in cute little packages like this and i it makes me sad but i'll show you one of the colors that i have right here this is one was in violets and roses So it's like that, and then it would just blend out. This one blended out into a really pretty shimmery pink color. But I did the one thing that I did really like about this is that, um, at least for the pigments that I have seen, I feel like they're always just loose and they don't have anything filtering them. So if you can tell on the top of it, um, there's like a filter out so that way it doesn't just pour out onto your hand. You actually have to shake it out a little bit so it makes it. Um, easier but harder to apply if that makes sense so yeah these were awesome so if anyone from hard candy ever watches this video please bring them back or send me all of them that you have back stock somewhere because these things are bomb i love these things so again i don't know if these are in stock anywhere on um walmart they don't show these actual like the actual eyeshadows they just show the glitters so the glitters were six dollars a pair so that's like three dollars for each one which is really not that bad of a deal Okay, so next is their Hard Candy Nail Polishes. I got the color Sky and I think Mint. And these are super cute. They came with like a cute little ring on top. And they're like the old school Hard Candy Nail Polishes that are just awesome. Um, the pigmentation is great with these. They're not too runny. They're not too thick. They're really easy to spread on. And they look gorgeous on the nails. I'm not going to lie, they last a pretty good time. Um, again, this was another limited edition product. So the rest of their nail polishes are $4, so it might have been around like 4 or $5 for this. Um, so this is the consistency, if you can see. See, it's not too thick, but it's still a little bit drippy. So I love their nail products. And again, so this is about probably about like 4 or $5. Again, I don't know if they sell these in stores. I don't think so. They think they just sell their like newer bottles, and this was kind of like a throwback. So I probably should try their regular nail polishes too. I'm going to try a bunch of their stuff, but I just haven't had the chance to. Um, I do like their single eyeshadows. I have a few of them, but I just can't find them. They're just like single little pans. And again, they're really good for their price. Yeah, I don't really have anything bad to say other than I hate that my Walmart doesn't always have them in stock. And again, not their problem. It's Walmart's problem. But super, super great drugstore. Um alternative they have a big array of different products they have lipsticks lip glosses they have um blushes bronzers um foundations concealers mascara eyeliner glitter pigments eyeshadows eyeshadow packs they have concealer packs they have a whole bunch of stuff and honestly for the price I, you can't beat it especially if you're like maybe a beginner um 
when it comes to foundation, I mean foundation, a beginner when it comes to makeup, this is a really good products to start with because they're good quality, but they're also super easy to work with. And honestly, it's probably one of my top drugstore, actually probably my top like all time brand because I've liked everything that I've used from them so far. So yeah. Thanks, Hard Candy, for making such a great product. You're the bee's knees, kids. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for watching, and have a great day.